One of the top goals in our Innovation Action Plan was to become a more innovative organization. To get started, the deans and directors of the major SPH programs have been meeting weekly to use our imaginations to head in new directions and gather new data from climate surveys, faculty meetings, and town halls. We started having all dean teams meeting with staff from all of the dean's office programs to better understand who we are, what we do, and how we might change. A few of us attended a crucial accountability workshop recently to learn how to listen to each other's needs to make work fun or make it easy. It was completely revolutionary. We've been working on ways to make the merit system, the incentive systems, and the budget systems of the school more transparent to help us use our resources to be a creative and sustainable school. We've also done things like create opportunities for departments and offices to work patiently and openly on complex issues in the classroom or our workspaces around issues of race, gender, and sexual orientation. If you'd like to join the efforts, email me. I'm happy to help. But I'm certainly not the only one. Both last year and this year, Chanel de Guzman has worked to develop a spectacular set of offerings like the Understanding Race drama that showed the story behind the statistics on health, race, and equity. And more recently, she developed the Being Cultural Beings experience that was held in March. We also now give out special funds for special causes. We've got an online form for people to request support around being an innovative organization, and we've funded two new student organizations, the SPHD and the Network for Doctoral Student Diversity that emerged right after the student survey results came out. We've held new all staff meetings with the goal of putting together a staff steering committee, and we're back on track after a delay that came this fall when we faced the challenge of the shared services and AST transformation. When that came on the horizon, we mobilized our best abilities to craft our own communications, fact sheets, and town meetings to create our best way through a very difficult situation. Our organization also learned by doing, changing course on plans to get a new biorepository to house and store many of our freezers and stored biosamples. We found that our needs weren't as great as we initially thought, so we changed those plans. We are steadily learning that adaptability and compassion are at the heart of any innovative organization and that we need to work together to clear obstacles on the path to finding imaginative ways to become a great 21st century school of public health.